Meantime, the El Paso Sheriff's Office invited media inside their active shooter training today, but it was not trained training geared toward its de deputies. It was training for high school students. It's a program designed for teens interested in ca a career in law enforcement. ABC 7's Dylan McKim was at the training and he joins us live in the studio with more details. Dylan. Stephanie, Eric, students got the chance to see how law enforcement trains for an active shooter situation, but they also learned how to respond to an active shooter as a regular citizen. These guns are not loaded with real ammunition, and this room is just a simulator at the El Paso County Sheriff's Office. But the scene playing out in front of this student, Adrian, is a reality. Sheriff's Office, come out with your hands up! In this scenario, Adrian is an officer looking for an active shooter inside a school. What was going through your mind? I mean, were you having, were you scared at all? Were you? Um, yes, I was pretty scared. Yeah, heart yeah. rate going up? Mm -hmm. uh, as soon as I took point, you know, it was getting a little intense. Next up is Adrian's cousin, Aiden. He faces a similar situation, a simulated school shooting, training deputies constantly go through. You can train and train and train for things, but every scenario is going to be different. But these two are not sheriff deputies. They are just high school students. Is this ever a fear for you that something like that could happen in a school? I think for everybody it is a fear, but I think what this helps with is just knowledge to what to do. Them and others their age are part of the Sheriff's Office Explorer Post. Very nice. It's a program designed for teens who are interested in a career in law enforcement. Wednesday, they were trained on how deputies would approach an active shooter. So stack them on the left door. So Sterling, your front. Like entering a building and clearing rooms. But also... We're also going to teach you guys again, you know, something like this, God forbids, happens in your school, how to respond to it, okay? Students are taught AD, which stands for Avoid, Deny, and Defend. It's a lesson kids in schools have to be taught. But if something like that ever does happen, guys, we want you guys to protect yourself. Run. And Eric Stephanie, something important deputies were teaching was to be aware of your surroundings. If those students are ever in that situation at a school and are able to call police, they want them to be as descriptive as possible on what they see and what they hear. Because police do have a blueprint of each school and will be fed information from dispatch as they arrive on scene. And Dylan, you got a chance to sit in on this simulation. This was very intense. Very intense, Eric. There's a reason we did not show that simulation or play any audio from it. It was extremely graphic. I was just standing off to the side, and even I was nervous. My heartbeat was going up, just as Adrian said, and that's just a simulation. It really did give those students a taste of what it's like to be a first responder in an extremely high-pressure situation. And you heard the students say this program gives them some knowledge on how to react to a situation no one ever wants to go through.